Oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to Freshy. Let's go inside. Freshy has been continuously working towards its goal of creating a healthier and happier world through convenient, affordable, and nutritious food. Not only through helping better lives, but also through being good to the earth, Freshy has been making its mark all across the globe, expanding all the way from North America to countries all over. Today, we're going to be looking at why India is the next best step for Freshy's global expansion plan. To understand this, we'll be taking a look at the barrier and success factors, and then going even further at our ideal implementation plan. We're going to start off by looking at some barriers that Freshy is going to encounter while expanding into India. So first off, here we can see that when doing an international venture, the cost often escalates quickly with needs of distribution, financing, and training of employees abroad. Another initiation barrier that Freshie would face going to India would be, as we can see here, the lack of foreign market connections and the need to develop them. As Freshie has never been in Asia nor in India, they would highly benefit from being in contact and developing relationships with Indian distributors, future franchising partners, all of the above. A third barrier is that India is a really fragmented country within itself. It actually consists of several region, regional distribution networks and also regional cultures, cultural differences. There are a lot of different languages spoken in India, although main ones remain Hindi and English. The barrier of language would be to take into account into further development of Freshy in India. Now, even though costs of operations in India are really low compared to industrialized country, it would still be a relatively hard goal for Freshy to be able to compete with other fast food chains already established in India in terms of cost and pricing. The difficulty here would actually come from the big, from the higher cost of Freshy's ingredients being fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and all of those. Lastly, political risks in India might represent barriers for Freshy's expansion because even though the government is opening it up India's trade barriers, a lot of sectors there remain closed to foreign investment. Also, India's government suffers from a high level of corruption. On the other hand, here we have some success factors that Freshy is going to have is going to enjoy while going to India. First, luckily Freshy has a wide range of diverse experience in doing international market research, creating agreements with partners in other countries, and of actually establishing themselves in foreign countries, which is a good success factor for them to do a new expansion. The second success factor that Freshy is going to enjoy when going to India is that language isn't that much of an issue for Freshy since English is prevalent in their school systems, in official documents and official work environment in India as a lot of Indians do speak it as their second language. Food preferences in India are going to correspond to Freshy's food offerings. Since Freshy's menu is mainly oriented towards a healthy diet based on vegetables and less focused on meat, it joins India's vegetarian population and also pleases Hindus and Muslims who mainly only eat chicken as a type of meat. Also, another success factor is going to be that several Canadian programs provide resources and assist SMEs to expand their activities such as EDC and the Canadian Trade Commissioner Service, who have both previously also worked in the Indian market. Our last great success factor for Freshy going in India is that there's an improvement actually going on right now between trade relations between Canada and India. Those agreements between the two, the two nations will lead to a less risky environment for operations between the two countries and will facilitate Freshy in, trans in transferring capital and assets to and from India. After our 
evaluating our risks and opportunities, we can now move on to Freshie's international marketing strategy. Now, before establishing that, we do want to um, set up some marketing objectives. The first be perception. We want Freshie to be perceived as a green brand, someone who's really innovative and new to the market. This will be evaluated with an end of the year survey after their first year of operations. Our second objective is to reach 10% of the market after the first year of operations. And this will be evaluated with the sales that uh, Freshie will establish. Our third objective is to reach 30% of the market after five years of operation. And again, that will be measured with by sales. Our last objective is brand awareness. We want to increase brand awareness by 30% after the first year of operations. This will be measured by web traffic and social media traffic such as Facebook and Twitter. We had already established in our first decision of the process that we wanted to enter into the Indian market. But the second decision really relies on who we're going to target. So Freshie's target market in India will be composed of men and women who are middle to high class who live in India, of course. In addition, they'll be English speaking and they'll be mostly following the vegetarian diet, but they will have chicken included in the menu. They'll also be aged 25 to 50 years old and they'll be living in a modern uh, society. For example, Mumbai, who really incorporates uh, more of a Western kind of civilization. And lastly, this all really leads to a disposable income because Freshie does sell a bit more healthier products and they want to go with that green initiative. We want to make sure that they can afford Freshie's meal. Since Freshie is already really successful with their current uh, mode of entry, which is by franchising, we decided to continue uh, with the successful strategy. So we want Freshie to establish a master franchise in Mumbai. Now, based off this, they will come to Toronto, receive all the necessary training, and then they'll, um, they'll work together to really develop an ideal strategy for India. Now, we'll be focusing on definitely serving a lunch, uh, kind of serving to the Indian market. Another part of Freshie's product is that they're definitely offering a green initiative. So something that's really healthy, and different and this really kind of ties in with our whole biodegradable so this is really a standardized strategy in their four piece that freshie will be adapting in india now looking at the distribution they'll be definitely going through a master franchiser as we had discussed before and this master franchiser will create the connections with the distribution center to really get the ingredients and food set up as well as the materials Freshie will be pricing above average of the market. Now really the reasoning for this is due to the fact that they are offering a healthy alternative and something that's really green and new. So this actually uh, justifies the reasoning for pricing above average. As for promotions, we really want uh, Freshie to create their brand and for people to know who they are. So to do this, we're really going to be concentrating on keeping the same colors, uh, same look of the stores, the green, the hardwood floor, the white, having some customer direction on how they order, uh, healthy food facts so they can understand what they're eating, and just really creating that awareness of the Freshie brand. After everything's been launched, it's really important to evaluate uh, the results. So after the first year of operations, we're definitely going to evaluate sales, awareness, and traffic. So by using Freshie's current strategy, and with the help of a master franchiser and being aware of cultural differences, will Freshie be able to penetrate the Indian market? So let's eat, energize, and open the doorway to the Indian market. Because I'm happy. Come along, you